Special favorite in this. Oh, and Turkey. Oh. FIMP, 88%, as expected. The draft has been laid out. You know, let's ask Manjin one last time when it comes to the draft. Many teams have tried. Hilda versus Diggy against Blacklist International didn't work. Do you think that this will be a game that that FIMP can win? This is so risky. I think the aim on third pick is a risky pick. Okay. But they want to secure it. But I don't trust the Hilda. It okay. failed back in the group stages. Yeah. So I think we all know the script already. Blacklist will win, but I'm simping for Pimp, bro. Okay, very well. <laughs> Abstract, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, as we make our way in to the land of dawn, who's the one that will come up early? Is it gonna be the Ube team, or would it be the aggressive Turkey? Well, let's see how this early game actually Whoa. goes out. I mean, if UA ends up dying here, that's probably going to be a very clear victory towards Blacklist International. But knowing how, uh, sorry, uh, to FIMP. But generally speaking, the way that we should be looking at this is especially when it comes down to these neutral objectives, right? Hilda is not really going to participate in the majority of these team fights, but is then looking for information, trying to make sure that Blacklist International, especially for their mid laner UA, to continuously be pulled to a different direction. I mean. When we are looking at Edward, he is the master of his lane. The least amount of death amongst all the players. And I gotta have to say, Edward, he knows exactly what he's looking out for. In this current lane matchup, he doesn't really want to go to all out aggressive against uh, the Gloom, but really just all about the lane priority and wanting to get back with his entire team. Yeah, actually. Speaking of which, I mean, I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of flashbacks from that Todak against Echo, against Echo matchup and, uh, well, sorry, Blacklist matchup. And honestly, when I see this Hilda into the Diggy, and especially with all my Venus playing on that Impure range, you know that the Queen just wants to stack. Okay, well, right now there's a Todak already. Wise is going to be able to dish some damage Ooh. out right there, but Endless Shards actually connects onto Edward, which just soaks it in. No damage, just practically tickles him. As both teams just disengaged, not wanting to go for a skirmish, but just as I say it, Alien's gonna be engaged on Alien. Jumping back with the slam, slam, bash, bash, but Alien's gonna be stunned up with the Bravest Spider. The Bridge is fast as well. First blood for Edward. Cura, terrified up, trying to run away as Apex 47 tries his best to distract, to get him out of there right now. But he's gonna be chained CC by the Frenchman. The sprint is not ready, and it's gonna be Blacklist International with a clean 2 0 start. Now, this is when we talk about lane matchup, especially Micro. The fact is that Edward was already level 4, and unfortunately, Gru was not in that same position. If you had to split the split, maybe something else, uh, the occurrence could have been a little different. But the fact that they got two of those kills so early on and the freeing neutral objective, that's going to be an early goal for Blacklist International to start pressing the advantage against some of the stronger lanes. Kira didn't even have his ultimate for that fight. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the uh, Lapu pretty much quote-unquote baited it out and managing to dash out of the way right before the final shot hits it. So honestly, Kira not exactly very good for that fight. Mm, you can already see as well here, Wise trying to go for it. That's a red trick by Kira. Just Kira, the over of manipulation, and then the charge locks Wise down. The mobility field is right there, but the time journey locks him, gives him some space to escape. Wise is gonna fall. Kazoo picks up the kills. Alien rotates all around, but he's gonna be killed here by the Bravest Fighter. A terrifies well, but Alien, Alien almost gets out just fairly by Yue. Brilliant micro mechanics. Great job from UA. I think he needed to make sure that that kill went back. If not, that lane would have been very, very skewed. And also, it allows him to kind of recover a little bit of that early game damage. Regardless, at the end of the day, when we're looking at the items, and more importantly, when we're starting looking at the emblems at this stage of the game, we're in hope that Kira is able to scale super fast. Because eventually, Wise is going to be able to get Radiant Armors, able to get Twilight Armors even. Oh, Ooh. a quick steal! FIMP is still sticking over to their MO. With this lineup, they can afford to be playing very aggressively. Despite losing in the, or rather, despite only having a two kill deficit, they still want to occupy the opponent's base as much as possible. They still want to inhibit the control of Wise as the main frontliner. Especially the fact that they were able to burn a battle spell, a very important one at that as well. Venus, the way he was able to utilize this Diggy up against Todak was getting in the right places at the right time with the flicker. Now, Turtle's gonna be spawning in that Flicker is going to be on cooldown. So the clutch is disabled on this car, but at the end of the day, Oh My Venus just has to position a little bit more dangerously, right? Alien's totally fine. He's come to a point in the game where Whoa. it's not a... Whoa! Kira deal. even doesn't deal enough damage to take Venus down. Time journey pops. The shielding is enough to get him out of there. As Kira tries his best to start this turtle. Retribution not available for Wise, but it is for Kira. But it seems like Fireflux and Pivity do not have that right now. Apex 47 is hunting Venus down. 
But he's gonna be locked down. Forced to use a sprint. It might just be a free kill Ooh. over. And it will. The time bomb. The alarm bomb in the bush. This finds the kill back in his blacklist once again with that lead. I mean, I respect that. You know, Apex 47 wanted to go super aggressive, and we talked about the fact that Apex 47 is not afraid. In fact, the whole entire FIMP oh. seems like they're not afraid. And the Shards may need to be afraid as Edward jumps in on their turret. Kura is able to utilize the invisibility. A year wise will pick up that retribution onto the turtle. Neutral objective so far going all the way to Blacklist International. Kira, Kira has got to be real careful there. He should not have. He should not have lived that at all. The fact that he went back in to greet out one auto attack nearly costed him his life. I think that's going to stick with him for now. In terms of item power spike, we are seeing the dominant size as well as the Ice Queen Swan coming out of Akazue. So it's going to help him really start chasing. But again, we're looking for that opening from FIMP. I think that's a very fine line between you know respecting the opponents and being aggressive, right? Because FIMP, I I don't know where they are threading right now. They would want to squeeze a little bit of hits in, they will want to really overextend themselves, but somehow they're not, it's like being punished. Oh, Kira is being punished though. While you say that, Edward and Wise were able to just invade in the jungle, now Aping 47, he might be a Hilda, but with those stacks in, Owl might just be able to slay him without the torn apart memory. That's a lot of damage from the Brody in the fifth minute of the game. Completely snowballing. 7-1. Yeah, they knew this rotation was going to happen. They already initiated one of their own to make sure that they are on the top side of the map. But they get, ah, you don't want to see this because it feels like right now, FIMP, whatever they do, they seem to almost be making the blunder, right? But Blacklist are the ones who are increasing the tempo. They are the ones, and especially with Psycho Frederick, really pushing the pace. The tempo is really working very well from the side of Blacklist International, right? Most, if not all, of their players from their side is, is levels above of FIMP. There is definitely quite a disparity going on, despite Edward just holding down to his lane. Alien and Kira still wants to go in for a block proxy in order to go for a little bit of off-tempo. And the shard as well. Edward just takes, takes it. it. It does no damage to Edward in the early game all the way now. You can see the defensive balance for Edward is really, really paying off. Yep, it's coming into effect and that's why you need to make sure Radiant Armor is honestly a really good buy. Some people even decide to go, uh, depending on what the composition is. But we'll see the items in just a little bit as they've already lost their uh, top side turret. This turtle basically a non-contestion. Pretty sure that the robe is currently available for the side of Edward. He's been tanking all of that and doesn't seem like it's much of a problem. Blacklist International, they understand that the turtle is already working towards their favor. They have the priority at that. Then, of course, jumping onto the jungle is what they want to do. Oh, oh, Brave Spider from Edward! All the way to the back, even! Oh. Kazooie! It's gonna be taken down. Now the top side, that's gonna be Snipe coming down, but I was still oh. able to escape into one of our memory. One more shot! Oh. 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 Escapes! Blacklist are stomping on FIMP. <sighs> Not giving them any oh, opportunity. Wow. Apex is going to get cancelled, and this is just brutal. Sunshine needs to run, but even oh, no. then, he's stuck. Oh, Venus there. That's going to be Flicker. Oh. Venus Flicker is out as well. Sunshine! Wait, wait, wait. How did he do that? He finds a double kill. Finally, he's going to be punished by Blacklist International with Owl flickering forward. No, he just dashed in front with that torn apart memory. But man, that's a mistake that we rarely see. It's fine. They can recover from this. Blacklist is still at a 3-point AK lead. It's a island-wide coverage. We're looking at advances in the top lane. We're looking at advances in the, ob uh, in the objective. Blacklist International is still sticking true to what they want, and that is objective games over and over again. Yes, Sunshine may have outplayed them. Yes, he's just going to do what he can. Even expanded the flicker to get the kill wow. on the Venus. Do it. Just couldn't do much from that point. Really unfortunate, honestly. Like towards the end there, you can see that it's clear that everybody's cooldowns were available. Well, we're basically done for, and they just have to wait it out. Unfortunately, that's when you see Sunshine flickering forward to create that space and forcing at least, uh, at least for Yue to use his own to trade. It for the siege gets too much for them though. Blacklist or National are completely utilizing this Brody and Alien. He's gonna be stunned up, and this should be him taken down without the torn apart memory. Utilizing the Brody so well in this game. It's pretty much all of the first tier defense towers that has been taken down. Blacklist International will get full control of the river line, and the Lord will be popping out in 50 seconds. FIMP will want to reclaim this. That's a taunt. Kazuo ain't gonna be locked down. Doesn't have. Oh, he goes for the flicker anyways, but Edward chases him down with a bravest fighter.
5.5k gold lead when Edward does this much, what are you supposed to do? I mean, honestly, this is just the massacre, right? Every single time Kira's buffs start coming up, about to spawn Blacklist, have already pushed out the waves. They are literally 10 seconds ahead of FIMP with a lot of the motions that they're making, sometimes earlier than they're supposed to be. Well, Renner's apathy, why is just being that psycho Fredrin in the front, taunting Alien up. That's gonna be Edward with the Bravest Rider. He's gonna be disintegrated, and now in the back is gonna be slain by the assassin Kira, but in the shot was stolen away by Yue. Now it's giving the real room manipulation. Sunshine gonna be able to dish out some damage, but Wise takes him out. Yue is looking for a maniac! Yue! He got it! A maniac! A savage is waiting in the base, but Kazoo, he's gonna be denying it away from Yue. Yep, can't do any more than that. Maniacs is all we're getting here at MSC. So close to savages, but no way to secure that pie. Now, as we look at this game, I think FIMP, unfortunately, yes, that was the correct motion. Kira is looking for that backline, looking to one-shot Owl as quickly as possible. But even then, the trades are so efficient, and with how the early game was actually played by Blacklist International, they maintained their lead. Even if they were at a 2k lead, it would only give them, what, 1,500 gold? Let's look at the replay one more time, because as we see Kira finding the angle on the left side of the map and even getting the flicker out of Owl, he one-shots it, but he's so out of position that there's nothing much they can really do. And as FIMP looking to trade back, they are behind. They are so far behind, in fact. It's really unfortunate that Beatrix thought that he would be safe within the RWM. And I will, I, and I totally understand, right? You brought down the win condition on the side of Blacklist International. There's not going to be a lot of threat. But one thing that FIMP forgot is the fact that there is a 7k deficit. And the fact that Yue can just steal the endless shards. You want to burst me? Nah, if I'm ahead, I'm bursting your team. Mm -hmm. One shot me, one shot you. Doesn't matter who's going to go down first. This inhibitor's mine. And, oh. and I fly an eye for the two for a two. FIMP is ready to defend this as much as they can, as Alien is just going to be getting shot. Oh, they can't. They can't even defend. Edward! He gets a two red stun, and Yue follows it up instantly in the back. Finding a double kill. The RWM comes down to lock Apex 47. I will one more shot, but Apex is able to escape. That real world manipulation from Kazooie. That's the only thing that can stop them anyway. It's coming down as he's able to actually immobilize it. But look at the damage coming from Owl melting down. Apex 47 like it's nothing. Now the endless charge doing nothing to Wise. He walks back up. Kira's looking for a kill right now. He jumps in for the face. It's a fade and it's a time journey to lock him up. 11 minutes is all Blacklist needs. First against Todok, now against Firefox. Impunity. Great cleanup overall, efficient trades, and the best part, their communication still in tip 